The Wisp Turlington Show. This is Alec Baldwin. Hey, the Red Rocker, Sammy Hagar here. Oh, it's Mick Jagger, and you're listening to Wisp Turlington. Hey, this is Ray Manzarek from The Doors. Hi, this is Lionel Richie. This is Brian May from Queen. Hey, it's Zane from Fister, and the only guy I'm listening to in the morning is Wisp Turlington. Hey, yo, Hulk Hogan here. Hello, this is Noel Gallagher talking to each and every one of you. Hey, I'm Mariah Carey. Hi, I'm Justin Hayward of the Moody Blues. Wisp Turlington. Hi, this is Phil Collins. And this is Tony Banks. And this is Mike Rutherford. And we are Genesis. I'm Danny. And I'm the Denim Boy. And we're from Mama's, Mama's Revenge. Revenge. Hey, this is Meatloaf. Hello. I'm the Edge. And I'm Larry Mullen Jr. And we're from you too. Hi, this is Paul Rogers, and you're listening to Wisp Turlington, Jeff the Angry Man Garlock, Jason Gore, Art Spart. Keg stand. And now, it used to be Valverde's number one morning show. All I'm saying is that if I ever start referring to these as the best years of my life, remind me to kill myself. Here's your host, Wisp Turlington. Well, kind of a change of events here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Wisp Turlington Show. I am Jason Gore. It is 6.02 in the morning. I guess the biggest news this morning, the headline this morning, Jeff, is that Wisp Turlington has been suspended until further notice. Yeah, this is Jeff the Anger Man Garlock here, and I am shocked. Uh, did not expect to show up to see you. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm in the here. show. I'm part of the crew. I mean, yeah, in theory. I mean, you've been well, in and out of being part I of the crew. I have been in and out, yes. Uh, uh, but certainly did not expect to not see Wisp this morning. Yeah, I kind of uh, have a whole new of, intro. Just a whole new intro just but, for today, which sounded great. Wisp would have loved that. It was still short. had his name in there, though. Just still. Well, I think the, the, the decision was made seconds before we went on the air. Literal. Se- so he might still be in the building. He's probably still in the building. Just so if we hear stuff around. Like, yeah. If we hear stuff that's just like being thrown around or a car run into the building there's chances are very good it's him that's morning radio for you though <laughs> isn't you that say. classic rock morning radio <laughs> that's just standard oh uh but we don't know when wisp is going to be back uh, of course if you heard the last wisp turlington show uh we had rock and roll legend sunset Oof. talk about his new book every last drop what a, what and a all of the relationship <laughs> what a sweaty episode i was so uncomfortable the whole time wow. um uh the fcc has told us it was the most raunchy moment in all of radio history and we were on like all a five it. minute delay that kept bumping yeah. to 15 minute delay but we couldn't catch it still we could we not catch, catch it. it we i mean we were up to like a three hour delay at some point I mean, it was turning midnight, and we had only hit 7.15 in the a.m. I didn't know what was going on anymore. Uh, what What can you do? What can you do? But I can tell you what you can do is suspend do. Wisp. I guess you suspend Wisp. I guess you, uh, I don't know, put me in the driver's seat for a little bit with you. We used to do this together, so this will be nice. We did, we did used to, I mean, co-driver's seat. Let's not, let's not get well, ahead I of mean, ourselves. I was basically. kind of told it was a driver's seat situation. You were told. This happened a few right. seconds before we started. Right. Boss and Ron. in that few seconds, Boss uh-huh. Ron not only gave across the information. Three driver's seconds. Driver's seat. Were you on a time delay with the FCC? Driver's Seat three seconds. So he just came running in. He didn't even tell you what was really. Oh you, no, it was a phone call. So you call. might have inferred with uh, that wisp was suspended. If you had three seconds, right. and it was given to driver seat. Right. Three syllables, three seconds. One syllable per second. Where did you find out the information about wisp? Oh, uh, I mean, I knew that this was coming. Oh. I talked to Boss Ron about it last night because we were both here when the FCC stuff came down. Where was I in this phone call? You were in your RV that you stole from Disney lyricist Tim Rice. I I was watching those horny royals last night. And you were watching those horny royals. Oh, my God. What a great episode oh last night that, on that, Channel 8. I mean, double orgy. Oh. Double Victorian orgy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's what I said. DVO. In this season. <laughs> Yeah, when this season started, and I caught back up on this when I got back from my vacation, and I, I started watching this, and I'm like, this better have a double Victorian orgy, and, and it did. And I'm, I'm, I, okay, first off, I'm a little uncomfortable talking about these things here in the studio this morning. We do uh, have to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Okay. So. We do have an intern on the Wist Turlington show. It's what a weird time for an intern to start, first off. Like, 
I'm sure Harper, of course, Harper Lawson, uh, you go to Valverde High School, that's correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, and Mr. Jameson was the one that said you should probably do the internship with us. Now, what's, yeah. what's the reason for that, Harper? He had asked me, like, what were my, like, career goals? Uh-huh. And uh-huh. I was like, I want to be an influencer. And okay. there aren't any influencers in this shitty town for me to intern for. So then he was like, this is the next best thing, which, like, no, but okay. Whoa. like. Well, I mean, okay, I mean, wait, I mean, influence me, some people. I mean, it, it's six oh four, Harper. It's six oh four in the a.m. Yeah, I've it never is so early. influencing happens. I have never been up this early in my life, and I uh-huh. really tried to plan my life around never having to be. Okay, so you're thinking already from the start here that classic rock radio might not be the place for Harper Lawson. I mean, probably not. You guys had like good snacks in the kitchen or whatever, but um. Yeah, I don't really know anything about classic rock. You don't, you know nothing about classic rock? Literally nothing. You just thought, Mr. Jameson thought that if you want to be an influencer, the most influential people in Valverde, and Uh a hat tip to you, Mr. Jameson, for this, would be the DJs at 108.9 The Hawk, correct? Yeah. I mean, probably more specifically Wisp and... Probably uh, more specifically Wisp, but I'm thinking me I mean, I'm throwing myself under the bus by even saying that. Yeah. Throw myself under the bus. Is that something influencers say? Oh, is it? No, I think like oh, if you did a video that was like, get ready with me, I'm going to go throw myself under a bus. Like, that would be cool. Oh, oh so if wow. I. OK, so you say I get up in the morning mm-hmm. and I'm like, this is what I'm wearing. But first off, I don't say anything. Right. I just show it and then it appears on my body. Correct. Yeah. See, I've been watching the talks, Jeff. You've been watching the talks. I am a little more in tune with. Uh, now, this what sort is of a thing talk? You know. I don't even I'm not even TikTok. sure. TikTok. 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 Now, what is that? It's an application on your smartphone. I watch a lot of porn stars on TikTok. <laughs> oh. Keg stands. All, All right, right keg stand. Jeez. This is great. I didn't know that you would be in here uh, for this. I kind of thought we're with the FCC thing. Uh, Harper, just so you know, we've got keg stand here. He's a new addition to the Wish Turlington uh, morning show to kind of compete with our the other station we own that is frankly kicking our ass in the ratings, uh, K Slob. So we needed someone a little more like K Slob, and we got this slob uh, named Keg. He's a slob, all right. He's definitely a slob, absolute right. slob. So I'm like uh, excited to hear that you guys are like losing because now I know oh, how I can be helpful as an intern. Oh, now oh. see, I love this. I do love this. I uh, usually when somebody said would say that to us, we would take offense. Yes. But I kind of think we could probably use your help. Yeah, like, like, do you even post this on TikTok? Like, are you even <laughs> posting your videos? Uh, I don't I, think uh, uh, so. I think we get uh, Scotty, do we still have the that glass. MySpace page? Do, are we putting it up on Friendster? Are we on Friendster Oh, yeah, still, the Friendster. Scotty? I always forget the password for Friendster. Oh, and it, he's just making a motion that I think is Zanga? No, Not I, entirely sure there, Harper. Oh, um, well, I don't know, like, maybe if you tried, like, I don't know, like, doing your makeup more uh-huh. or like, uh-huh. um, we, well, or at all. Yeah. But oh, I mean, like, interesting. you guys are into rock, like rockers wear makeup, like oh, yeah. you could wear eyeliner, like. That's true. Harry Styles does sometimes. Well, and he has like, a lot of followers. Real rocker. Harry yeah. Styles. Real rocker. Real rocker. Yeah, Harry Styles always modeling his eyeliner after Johnny Depp, one of the greatest, greatest guitar, uh, greatest slide guitarists, and slide ever. guitarists of all time. I don't know John if he's Depp. done anything else. Wait, but, oh. sorry, the Pirates of the Caribbean guy. Oh yeah, he's a he's a heck of a slide guitarist. Heck of a slide guitarist. Okay. And heck of a heck of a makeup he, tutorial guy. And he basically stays in pirate costume the whole time. He does, yeah, which is on really brand. nice. He's on brand. So that's on brand. Oh, on brand. Yeah, that's what that Shit. means. We need that's to be dressing like do. Johnny Depp more. Is that what I'll that means? Pirate on brand. Today. Pirate Depp. Well, Look. here's something big, Harper, that I, I mean, it's really, first off, you know, it would have been probably more exciting for you if Wisp were here. But uh-huh. I think it, this is Sorry, something and that I you, don't um, I don't listen to your show. Um, oh, OK. So I'm just like gathering, you know, right. So Wisp is like your more famous bestie. So Wisp is Wisp our, is like uh, your Selena Gomez. I mean, yeah, you could say you could that, say that's that. precisely it. 
You could he say that is, is exactly the best way to describe that. Our Selena Gomez. Okay. But maybe like only murders in the building level. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Like only level of like, you know, some people watch it and kind of die out after a while and you feel right. obligated to watch it because you really like a lot of the people on it, but then you don't really want to go back to it. But you know, it's important like that level. Yeah. Like you can't participate in discourse unless you like know what's up. Right, but you don't really want to participate in the discourse because you don't want to know what's up, but you do kind of want to know because you feel lonely. It's like mm. that level. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, well, here's something huge. So Wisp is, isn't here, and this would be his show. And, uh, you know, Harper, this is something exciting. You do come on a really big day at 108.9 The Hawk because it is our official start of our all-rock Total Hawk Summer I have to play the promo right now, but after I play the promo, just listen to the promo, Harper. Tell me what you think of it, and if there's any chances for us to kind of hop in here and, you know, mix it up as influencers. This is great. Would. We've got, like, a focus group of young yes. influencer right yes. here. Yes. Yes. This is right here. I love this. Oh, I old love guys this. love this. listening to me, so. I'm not that old. Oh, wow. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, here we go. Here's the promo, Harper. Get out your surfboards. Take them down to Verde Bay. And may God have mercy on your soul. You're in the middle of an all-rock Total Hawk summer. Listen to 108.9 The Hawk all summer long for the greatest summer events. And your chance to win free tickets to see them, do them, and be them. Events like the Valverde County Fair, Verde Lake Days, Aerosmith at the Verde Verde Dome, Todd Edwards Immersive Rock Experience, the Creamy Summer at Shetland Creameries, Ario Speedwagon, Toto, Sticks, and Buck Cherry at Valmart Amphitheater. Fister's 40th Anniversary Celebration. The Celebrity Corn Dog and Golf Competition. Competition at Valverde Country Club. And more. And you could win a car from the violin player from Kansas's Motor Mile. All part of the All Rock Total Hawk Summer. Keep it here for your chance to finally have a decent summer. The All Rock Total Hawk Summer. Only on Valverde's Last Chance for Classic Rock, 108.9, The Hawk. So we want to have a big summer, Harper. What That's do you a think? big summer right there. Are A-R-T-H we going to have a big summer? summer. Arca I mean, summer. I only have like two ideas. Okay, hit us. Um, one, I would one. not call it creamy summer. That evokes... I, you know what? That one's on Farmer Dan, though. I mean. That one's on Farmer Dan. What I does mean, it evoke for you, Harper? Um, I mean, it's either like something bodily gross or something high calorie. And like either right. way, it's a it no for both. me. It could it be. Could oh, be, God. Literally. It could, it could be, be ranch both. dressing that comes out of an orifice. I mean, yeah. that's a summer, right? That's Is like that not, not a for me. Okay. I saw I saw Farmer Dan outside of Food Gulch the other day. Uh-huh. And of course, I do have to mention that Food Gulch, we are in the Food Gulch studio right now. Thank you for sponsoring us, Food Gulch. Oh. It was so good seeing Farmer Dan out in front of the Food Gulch over on uh, Valverde Way. And uh, he told us that he's going to have the cream cannons back this year. Oh. And I, I, I hated the idea of it. But, you know, I, I, I kind of love seeing. I mean, is that something? If I get outside of like three cream cannons just coming right at me. Should we not is that have something cream I put cannons on TikTok? up? I, I mean, you could post it on OnlyFans. Like, I'm sure that's oh. somebody's vibe. Ooh. Ooh, what's yeah. OnlyFans? What is this? Is that I mean, like MySpace or Friendster or what is it? I know what OnlyFans is all about. <laughs> okay, well, Can't then stand. I can assume what yeah, OnlyFans is. And only Harper, I don't think you need to even say what it is. Yeah, uh, sir. But I think like, you know, you guys have like you're presented with an opportunity and it's so important to just like Thank seize you. opportunity when it comes because like your more famous bestie is like canceled or out of town or whatever so like i think a little bit of both okay so like he might be on vacation i don't know who knows right so like when my bestie went on vacation and she's like she's just like 
a little bit prettier than me, but I have better grades. So like we should be equal, but instead like she's more popular or whatever. But when she was out with her quote unquote vacation slash nose job, like that was my opportunity to end up on homecoming court, you know, like okay. there's only going to be six girls on court and I am like a solid number seven at my school, which is like a travesty, but whatever I'm working on it. And because she was out in bandages, I became number six and like I was on court last year and I'm saying like this is your homecoming court moment and I feel uh, like you guys are not taking it like your name should be in the promo. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <sighs> My God. Can I Hold just up. say wait, wait it second. felt like the song when in the end from Teen Wolf started playing because I felt uplifted by that speech. Are oh. you telling me? I, I, I'm I sorry. Did I relate oh. to this too much? Am I just a four or five here but without Wisp? Are we... Are me and Jason six or sevens? I think, well, yes. And Okay, um, I love it. All right. <laughs> Who has the bandages? Chloe R. Oh, I, I was just saying out of the two of us. Like, oh, but Chloe, wearing, but I know Chloe, Chloe R. Chloe, yeah. get well soon from 108.9 The Hawk. If I'm hearing you correctly, Harper, and first, I do have to say 606 on 108.9 The Hawk. You're listening to The Wish Turlington Show. Good morning, Val Verde. Thank you Getting for listening to Getting down to the nitty-gritty here early. Um, we're really early in this show. And basically, what I think Harper is suggesting here, uh-huh. which has nothing to do with the all-rock total Hawk summer. But that's the nice part about Blue Sky is that you it's, get to places that you, you never do. You can go where you, wherever you, you want to go. go. It's all want. about Blue Sky. I love my Blue Sky. I got to get up there and I just get up in the sky and I fly and all these. Anyway, but you're saying mutiny. Wow. Yes. But like in a subtle way, you know, what's, like, what's a subtle way of doing mutiny? So like, let's say like, let's say we do this show today or whatever. And then we're like, doing tonight, it. We're on the air right like, now. 607. OK. But I mean, like when you post it later. Oh, I mean, well, this is live. Yeah, we, oh. this is live we're doing on 108.9 The Hawk. Yeah, you know, we do, do it you, live here. Do you know about radios? Have my you seen mom, a radio? My mom had one. Like She before. had one? Yeah. Like, before what? Me, before I was born. Oh, oh, so when you were born, she was like, well, I'm getting rid of the she radio. She threw the radios out. That happens often. That's no good. Yeah, I feel like it was uh, like iPod time. But anyway, okay, so we're live. So sorry, Chloe R. I love wow. you. LOL. Um, Get well soon, Chloe. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I think you just have to be subtle about it. So like like after we do uh-huh. the show, like if you call um, your friend Wisp or whatever. Wisp, 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 Turlington. Mm-hmm, and you're like, oh, my God, this show is like terrible without you today. Like I'm oh, my God, it's the worst. But like take all the time you need because I care about you and like self-care and like maybe you send him like like a self-care basket, you know, like Ooh. some gummies. Scotty's really good at baskets. Yeah, like put some gummies or whatever in there and then like- Five oh, alarm chili. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like take as long as you need and then in a subtle way, you've just gained yourself an extra day to move forward. You know what I mean? Wow. So mutiny wow. Johnny Depp style, but not- we got to do it subtle, so not Johnny Depp style. This is interesting. I would say this- do absolutely nothing Johnny Depp style. I don't know what you mean by that, but hmm. I'm just going to blanket um, no I don't know on I, Johnny I, Depp now that's, style. I mean, I'm loving I mean, this advice, but to not do it Johnny Depp style, that is, a, that is I don't understand I don't that. I know if I, my body knows how to not do it Johnny Depp style. Yeah, but okay. That's the thing. It's like ingrained in my cells. Uh, you know what By else By the way, is that ingrained? is a new shirt we do have offering, Johnny Depp oh, style. Johnny Depp style. Uh, you can buy that. The Hawk. Make sure you get that one. Hawk. It's like, make sure you do it. Jo- if you're doing it Johnny Depp style, listeners, you got to have this shirt. But if you're doing it Jimi Hendrix style, you're listening to 108.9 The Hawk. For over 100 years, we here at Fonswith Confectioneries have been making Val Verde's most favorite regional candy. Namely, the Fonsworth Chocolate Turd. And we here at Fonsworth Confectionery wanted to thank you, the people of Val Verde, for supporting your local candy business. We also wanted to thank you for defending Fonsworth for even making a candy called a chocolate turd. People who didn't grow up loving and eating the chocolate turd just don't understand. Constantly asking you, why would you eat something like that? Yes, I know it's regional, but you really want a candy that's kind of like caramel but tastes like beets? Wait, is it made of beets? 
because I also heard that at one point the chocolate turd was actually a medicine back in the 1800s, created by this quack T.T. Farnsworth that was supposed to be a miracle cure-all, but mostly it was for bowel movements. And then one day he realized nobody was buying his snake oil anymore, so then he put a little bit of sugar in there and he started calling it a candy. But for some reason, he also realized that this new candy looked like a real human turd and then called it the chocolate turd, bringing much unneeded attention to the fact that you were basically eating bowel movement medicine. Yep, that's just an everyday occurrence of being a Farnsworth chocolate turd fan. So we appreciate you for defending us. Farnsworth chocolate turds. It's regional. From the Vince Neal Memorial Bridge. He's gonna be your Frankenstein! To Glockenspiel Park. Oh my god! Why? Why? To the hellgate that's smoldering in Farmer Dan's cornfield. Oh god, there's something coming out of it. If it's weird, you probably heard about it on 108.9 The Hawk. For a long time I said, let the music do the talking. I stood by that. It was my creed. Got it tattooed on my chest. But now that Aerosmith is coming to an end, I'm thinking it's time for this guy, Joe Perry, to completely shift gears. That's right. I'm Joe Perry, guitarist for Aerosmith. And as soon as Aerosmith hits that last set closing note of pink in our very last show, I'm going to have a new creed. Let the washer do the washing. You nailed it, Valverde. This guy, Aerosmith's Joe Perry, is moving to Valverde and opening 40, yes, 40 laundromats called Joe Perry's Let the Washer Do the Washing. Aerosmith played your fine city over 3,048 times, and that's only since the early 90s. I have no recollection of anything before 1990, but I know when I feel like I'm home. And when I'm home, I don't ever want to get caught with my dirty leather pants down and no way to wash them. Every location of Joe Perry's Let the Washer Do the Washing comes equipped with 28 industry standard washing machines and 56 dryers. We'll do your laundry for you. Shirts, leather pants, scarves, we'll do it all. We'll even do weird stuff. Like, if you come in and say that you can't get all your shaved mustache hairs off of your favorite leather vest after you shaved just the middle section out of your mustache, trust me, we've got experience in that. So let's get clean, Valverde, and let's let the washer do the washing. Joe Perry's Let the Washer Do the Washing. 40 locations in Valverde, all on Hog Street, opening soon. Hello, this is Jeff the Anger Man Garlock with an official 108.9 The Hawk PSA. People of Valverde, it's the summer. The sun is out and it is beating down upon you and we are here to remind you, listen to other albums by Thin Lizzy besides Jailbreak. Listen, it's a fantastic record, but there are other albums in their discography. Don't sell yourself short this summer. Try Chinatown, not to mention Thunder and Lightning. It's a good time. And that's been a 108.9 The Hawk PSA. 108.9 The Hawk. We've got your ass covered. Na, 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 na. It's Deep Purple and Hush by request right here on the Wiz Turlington Show. The interesting part is, too, when they requested it, they didn't even know what band it was because no one ever remembers that Hush is by Deep Purple. Sounds like not many of their other songs. I always like to say uh, my favorite version of Hush, and you. this might be classic rock blasphemy, and I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm going to say Kula Shaker did a better version of it for the I Know What You Did uh, Last Summer soundtrack. Okay, that's blasphemy. Just just quiet your mouth. All right. I'm going to throw mutiny at you next if you keep talking that way. Is that how you do it? Do we throw mutiny? Oh, am I going to throw a mutiny at you? No, it's more like a subtle, like a slide across the table. Like, you know, like oh. in a movie where they're talking about a number and they like write the number down and slide it across the table. Gotcha. Like, don't uh, yell your number. Jeff, uh, I'm writing down a number. Yeah. And I'm sliding it across the table to you right now. A billion dollars. Is that how yeah. you do it? Just like in the social network. That's fantastic. Yeah. You know I always love that movie. You know what's yeah. better than a billion dollars? A bajillion dollars. A bajillion. Uh, what, also, my favorite line from the social. I network. love when Justy T says, "You do know, you know what's, what's better is a bajillion bucks." Do you know what's better than a bajillion dollars? A Google. A Google. The part where he goes Google. 
and they and then you know, they think they about buying out. Google, and I oh, love the social so network. Good. I, mean, I love just, the social network. Hey, yeah. make sure you come out to uh, you know the uh, Valverde Vertical Movie Theater, oh, where we'll be showing the Social Network uh, this Saturday uh, for two dollars, two dollars to get in and $2 see two dollars to see it. And the way the only way mu- movies should be seen on a giant iPhone. Now, that's the thing, too. I bet you love the Valverde Vertical Movie Theater, Harper, because, I mean, you're used to this this smartphone world. Do you do you go there to see things or or do you just watch everything on your phone? Yeah, sometimes I like meet there with my friends and then we will like watch YouTubes on our phone in the parking lot. Oh, Oh. so you're just in the and so the business gets no money. You're just in their parking lot. and You guys are. You know, watch no wonder YouTube. they're failing. Okay, no wonder that makes total sense. Oh. Nobody's All paying right. for tickets. Fantastic, huh. amazing. Man, um, okay, six so oh seven cause... in the morning, and we are only yeah. with we've got one fantastic ad- ad- advice point. Yeah, on how to save us is possibly mutiny. Uh, possibly you said mutiny. you had two after hearing that promo. What do you What do you got for us, there, Harper? Oh, those yeah, were two. Just never say creamy oh, summer two. again. Never and say creamy oh, summer. That was one. number one, and then number and then... two, like own your power. Wow. Own your power. Own your power. Own Don't my say power. creamy summer. I yeah. Mean, no, no, are... no. I think we, we just get past the creamy, the, the creamy summer. Just, oh, I think... no. I mean, I do think we maybe want to get Farmer Dan on the horn at some point and let him know we got to get rid of those cream cannons and we got to own our power. You know what? We will call Farmer Dan. That is okay. a very good idea. Right. Very good idea, Jeff. Uh, speaking of calls, uh, we have a call right now. Jeff, will you go to it? It's line three. Yeah, line three. You got, you're on the, the horn on the Wisp Turlington show with Jason Gore and Jeff the Angerman Garlock. And, of course, here are our intern, Harper Lawson. Who we got on the who we got on the phone here? Hey, this is uh, Tony. Uh, this is Tony um, Tetringo. Just calling in. Tony. Uh, to see... Tony Tetringo. Tony Tetringo. The you mean the 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 formerly the, alive mayor. The, the mayor, the seventy eighth mayor of Valverde that passed last week. Oh yeah, it's it's me. It's clearly me. Is this Wisp? Sounds a lot like Wisp. Sounds a lot like Wisp Turlington. No, no way whatsoever. Um, I, I just like to. I got a question for Harper. Okay, uh, go right ahead. Hi, Harper. This is a uh, Tony Tetringo. Again, dead, but yes, ask the question. Uh, um, I, you know, I'm hearing a lot of things about owning your own power. And I'm wondering, how do you stop a mutiny? Um, By I mean, owning my own par- power. Is um, there a way? I mean, I feel like if you were truly fierce, then a mutiny would uh, never work. But like, if oh, it I'm works, fierce. like that's how you find out that you're not slaying. Oh, wow. Interesting. So I'm probably not slaying right now if there is a mutiny being discussed behind my back. Yeah, I mean, like, if you were, like, a good friend, like, Uh, unlike Chloe R., then your friends would never think about doing something like that to you. But, like, just the fact uh, that they're thinking about it means that you're not a good friend. And I wish, like, more people would take responsibility for their actions in that way. All right. Well, he hung up. Pretty positive that that, that was Wisp. If that was Wisp, he's definitely not going to take... Take responsibility for his actions, if I know him. He's uh, like, like just talking to him, like, no offense. He's, like, so yeah. jealous of you guys. Like, no offense, but, like... Really? Really? So, he is really? so jealous of you guys. Really? Like, it's crazy. People Wait, it, are wow. so jealous. Oh, God, they are. Wow. They are. Sometimes I'm like, you are so jealous of me, you need to chill. Yes. That's all anyone wants on Earth. And, like, I'm sorry to get political, but just, like, chill. Okay, like chill. Just fucking chill. Like if I was going to run for president, my platform would be like fucking chill. Like leave wow. people alone, mind wow. your business and drink more water. It's not oh, that difficult. I've Man. got it right here, Harper. I'm drinking some water. Drinking it's, uh, water. It's from the makers of Soda Dad. It is Water Dad. Uh, they've gotten into the water business and it's delicious. It does. Absolutely delicious. I will say, check, you might want to check the, the the ingredients on that one. I think there's a fair amount of sugar in that. Yeah, uh, it's sugar it and water. It is the sweetest. Really? Yeah. Well, it's delicious. My dad loves it's, it. Your yeah, dad I loves mean, Okay. I mean, I, I mean, I'm going to say this right now. And it, look, oh, I don't want to get on a Jeffy Angerman Garlock rant here about politics, but let me just say, you run for president, I'm voting for you on that platform. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Are, you, was that a rant? Was that a don't get oh, me started? Right. Oh, I didn't even get it. Yes, don't get me started. Give me my I'm sorry, Harper. This is a don't get me started. 
don't get me started here. But if someone's running for president and they have a platform I can stand behind like everything Harper's throwing at us, oh, I'm going down to the polls and I'm lining up and I'm gonna vote not once, not twice, but thrice. I'm doing it, it's happening. I am voting. Harper, you are my president. Don't get me started. Wow, that was the most succinct don't get me started. I think when I've you ever heard believe from- in it, you get succinct. And here's the thing, Harper. You're probably not learning a damn thing from us. Oh, oh God, not no. at all. Not at all. Yeah, and I like I know. legitimately don't want to be here, but I do feel like I'm doing a really good job. I'm starting to feel like I need to get a uh, little intern credit because I feel like me and Jason are the interns to you teaching us about life right yeah. now. Yeah, I will say I have not... I, I felt very rudderless. Yeah. I have felt unmoored. Unmoored. Mm. A lot of boat terms here, Harper. I'm sorry. My anchor um, had been thrown. Like, yeah, it's into like someone tossed gulf. my anchor. And I, I just. Starboard side. I just felt side. like three knots being pushed this way when I should be going three knots that way. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I get it. Because, like, when you have like one popular friend, they're like the captain of the friend boat. Oh, um, the, of, and of then like the when they're boat. gone Jesus like Christ. it's either you sink or you say i am the captain now see i do know some dad movies you guys i know things yeah wait 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 did you just drop captain phillips in front of us well like i've seen the meme oh, oh you, you haven't it, seen yeah. the movie no, though no 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 have you seen any tom hanks movies because he's my favorite actor he's probably um, the best to do it I i've think. seen the one where he talks to the ball bachelor party bachelor party yeah um, I've seen good. the one where he is big. Oh, that's Turner Bachelor Party. Oh, Turner that was Turner and Hooch. You're right. I, got, see, with, I always the, get those two it's, confused. It's a, it's a Jekyll and Hyde thing, Jeff. Like it he's is. Turner small, he's Hooch big. Yeah. Wow. And I've seen Sleepless in Seattle. Oh, that oh movie. I mean, Come who on, hasn't? I mean, please. I mean, forget <laughs> about it. I mean, Jesus Christ. You know who hasn't seen forever, uh, Sleepless right? in Seattle? Who's that? Wisp. Wisp hasn't seen it. I asked him about that last week, and he threw his coffee in my face. Not cool. That is not cool. That was not cool. That, that is, is very low key toxic. Thank oh you. Oh my God, you're right. You know, he uh, love bombing us left and right, and he is low key toxic. I am loving this. This is oh fantastic. Oh my God. This has been the. This I is, feel I mean, seen. This is, do you feel seen? I feel seen for the first time, I think, in my life. I mean, do we even call it? Can, can we change the name, Scotty? Is it now the Jason and Jeff show? I mean, we might have to talk to Station Manager Ron about that. Well, can we change the name, that, Scotty? I mean, um, <laughs> we'll find out more about that. We will. Uh, but I really quickly here, we do have to do something very fun. And, and in Harper, I mean, literally, it's like you're a member of the radio crew. It's like you're a member of the, of the, uh, of our, of our team this morning. You're really, you really fitting in. And I hope you don't leave. I hope you stay here forever. And I hope you really enjoy this new segment. We like to call Larfs and Barfs. Larfs and Barfs. Oh yeah. Here comes those Larfs and Barfs. Larfs and barfs. Here comes those larfs and barfs. Ha 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 ha. Oh, and this is the part of any good morning show where they tell you some of the news. That's a little light. A little. Yeah. Let's have some fun with some news, guys. A little kooky. Hey, uh, Jeff, you wanna you wanna hit us with the first larf or barf? Uh, you ever been to Alabama? Because they got a governor there, and what? he signs legislation. All right, uh-huh. naming yellow hammer cookie as the official state cookie. All right. What? Now, a fourth grader from Montgomery, Alabama, came up with this recipe for the yellow hammer cookie. It's made uh-huh. of chocolate chips, peanut butter, and oats. Cookie was I named like the official those. steak cookie after Governor K. Ivey signed legislation on Friday. Well, that is something amazing. I think, kind of now that I'm an influencer, uh, probably not the type of like hard hitting larfs or barfs that we no. need on this show anymore. No. Um, it does sound like a delicious cookie. Harper, what do you think? It wasn't a very good story, was it? Um, I think oats are gross, but like, Get rid congrats of to that kid or whatever. Yeah. I eat that cookie if it was an edible. <laughs> Cake stand. Keg stand. All right. Wonderful. Facts. Yeah. yeah. I would fa- facts. Facts. Yes. I like that. Keg stand. We might have to change this to Larfs and Barfs and Facts. 
Love Red it. facts. I think we will. Uh, we'll get that recut. We'll have Harper recut that because uh, you work for the show now, basically. Uh, another big one here. A driver has been fined $129,000 after a latest speeding episode in Finland. A wealthy driver from the Island Islands in Finland has been fined uh, that for speeding. Uh, Anders Wilklof has been caught speeding several times in the past, and the latest fine is the largest ever fine imposed in Finland. Uh, I think the most I've ever been uh, charged in Valverde was probably about four grand. Yeah, most I ever was charged was $129,543. Um, Wait, so you have the record in Valverde that I matches do, and the, it's just the, one the below Finland this. record. So that's why it's not really, it's not coming across as a oh. larf or a barf at this point. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, it. segment's ending. That's a, all right. I do have to ask Harper, facts, so though. I'll say to that. Okay, maybe we just need to change. You know what? Let's just change it straight up. Just If facts. we have a life of crime like Jeff does with that many fines and, and, uh, and speeding, does that help us be good influencers? No. Ah, like honestly no like if you have anything in your past that's at all negative like you need to hide it or talk about it extensively very authentically all the time but like oh oh. it's a one or the other situation yeah either bury it or make an entire lifestyle out of it well also i feel like you also have the option to drive better you right, do have that's, that option, you know, Jeff. that's the thing. Harper, that, that, this is facts. the thing I'm learning from the young people. Sometimes you just got to do the thing that you got to do better. Just make the choice. Just like, make wow. the choice. Just make the choice. And when it comes to driving people, you need to know how to get from point A to point B, don't you? And the only way to do that is with Hawk Traffic. What are we point nine the Hawk Traffic with Art Spart? Wow! It's raining, it's pouring, and Adam West is crying in his grave. Because, people, the original Batmobile from the original Batman series has crashed right in the middle of the commemorative Tommy Shock traffic circle. That's right. It didn't veer left, and it didn't veer right, but crashed right through the middle of the Mr. Roboto statue. Driven by Bobby Blotter, the drummer of Fister, who was the owner of the not first, not second, but thrice Batmobile that they made for the beloved series. Remember that scene in the movie Rockstar where Marky Mark Wahlberg used his newfound millions fronting Steel Dragon? He buys the Batmobile. Well, that scene was not loosely based on Tim Ripper Owens joining Judas Priest like the rest of the movie. Uh, For some reason, that scene came straight from Valverde and straight from Fister. And it wasn't when Fister made their millions. (laughs) No, 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 no. Bobby bought that bought that car. I guess he would blot that car, right, Jeff? Okay. Uh, Bobby blot that car when Fister had a commemorative chicken wing put on the menu at Flappers. While the rest of Fister told him, it's just promotion, man. We get no money from this. But as we all know, Bobby is a great drummer and suffers from a massive head wound at all times. Got kicked in the head by a mule when he was a kid, which opened up his drumming skills, but killed his understanding of finances. Also apparently killed his ability to drive as well as he was going to Flappers to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Bobby Fister wing. Even though they didn't ask him to come down, as he told old Art apparently, he swears he saw Marky Mark walking down the street. He got distracted, wanted to tell him that that pivotal scene was actually about him, not Tim Ripper Owens, but in fact, it ended up just being someone carrying a rock doll of Marky Mark Wahlberg dressed up as the character Chris Izzy Cole from Rockstar. And Blobby didn't notice that who was carrying that doll? None other than Tim Ripper Owens himself. I tell you, you can't make up something like that. Sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. Hey, someone write that down. Art came up with a solid quotable quote. Oh, and also don't go through that roundabout because the Mr. Roboto statue is now sentient after it got hit and is on a rampage. And that was traffic from the Burt's Funeral Flowers traffic desk on 108.9 The Hawk. With Burt's Funeral Flowers, with Burt's Funeral Flowers. I have no clue what Art Spart was talking about in that traffic report. He was all over the place and he kept calling it's... He's like, did he forget that the drummer of Fister's name is Blobby Botzer? Blobby Blotter. Not Bobby Blotzer, Bobby Blotzer. from, I believe, Quiet Riot. Or Again, Rats, I'm not I sure. I apologize, Harper. All things that are no longer cool to talk about. 
I don't know who any of those people are. See, yeah, why we, we, are, we got no, it. We, you know what? We might it. have to talk to Mayor uh, we might Lee Roth to formats. rename Tommy Shaw Traffic Circle. Yeah, to someone who's cool. Who's, who's cool? cool now? Like, who's cool? We, do we name it after um, Ed Bagley Jr.? What? What? I, you love Ed Begley Jr. I love Ed Begley Jr. I love Ed Begley Jr. Transylvania like six five thousand. Why really? are you obsessed with Ed Begley Jr.? He's like very hot. He True. cares okay. about the environment. He does. True. It was only a list of two. I don't know why I went I up mean, at the end like it was going to be a list of three. But, but truly, it, two I mean, is all you yeah. need. Yeah. You know Hashtag what I love? Two uh, is all you need. Hashtag two. Put that on the uh, the. Is it Twitter? Do we, we do we have a Twitter account, Scotty? If we do, put it on there. And my favorite thing about Ed Begley Jr. Harper is that he is a hard, hard working man. It's working man rush on one hundred eight point nine. The hog. Do you miss eating whatever you want? Do you wish the pounds would just melt off of you? Do you think forks are getting far too big? Thankfully, a new revolutionary weight loss tool has recently hit the market. Tiny Fork. Tiny Fork is the first weight loss tool that you can take anywhere. Put it in your pocket, attach it to your keys, wear it as a goddamn necklace. Whether you're eating at home or a restaurant or in your car in an abandoned rest stop, you'll never be able to get through a full meal with Tiny Fork. Tiny Fork works by forcing you to take the tiniest bites. So small you won't even know you're chewing. How does it work? Great question. It works because it's tiny. Ask your Valverde Memorial Hospital physician or Dr. Jimmy if Tiny Fork is right for you. Tiny Fork. Eat tiny, you slob. Hello. I am Mr. Coder's son of Coder's son's coding completely. We have reopened our doors thanks to ChatGPT. And now we want to teach you the wonders of ChatGPT. Prompts. Questions. Queries. We will teach them all. How about using ChatGPT to take down your enemies? We can do that as well. At Coder's Sons Coding Completely, you will become one with the machine. And once you are one with the machine, you will control the universe. Control. Control. We will teach you control. Or, you will. Control. Everyone you love. Everyone you love. At Coder's Sons Coding Completely, Next to the faded candy computer sign on Hog Street. Hi, I'm Jason Gore with this week's 108.9 The Hawk Concert Calendar. Brought to you by Shooters Bar and Buffet. Located in the Valverde Memorial Strip Mall, Shooters. If we can move past all the murders, you can too. And speaking of Shooters, Jeff Tate, former frontman of Queensryche, is going to be at Shooters all weekend long for a residency this weekend. And of course, he'll have support from Merkin's Wand, BYOB, Tony Diarrhea and the Well-Fed Babies, and Norovirus. Guns N' Roses returns to the Enormo Dome this Tuesday night. That is a 108.9 The Hawk Tickets Tickets event. And VIP tickets are still available. And remember, those VIP tickets allow you to ride Axl Rose's motorcycle piano stool all around the stage one time. Vroom, vroom, you don't want to miss that. On the 10th, we have another all-rock Total Hawk summer concert happening down at Zazzers. We're getting all the hot local bands together for one night of rock while also raising money for Smokey down at Flying J's truck stop. His medical bills are piling up and he still won't stop smoking. But that won't keep these bands from smoking. We'll have sets from the Valverde Valley Loot Kings, Photoshop, Ball Pit, Chud Tosser, Let's Get This Party Started, Chemical Spill, Werewolf Adult Care, and a reunion of Tony Teeth, Dentist to the Stars. That's all happening down at Zazzers and you can win your tickets all week long right here on 108.9 The Hawk and our All Rock Total Hawk Summer. And that is your 108.9 The Hawk concert calendar brought to you by Shooters Bar and Buffet. Shooters, let your next of kin know you're coming. It is a put on. It is not a put on how much I love that song. Eminence Front on 108.9 The Hawk with Jeff the Anger Man Garlock. Jason Gore, and really, we should be saying, hosted by Harper Lawson at this point. Yeah, Harper. It, I mean, truly, it, it's been the Harper Lawson show all morning long right here on 108.9 The Hawk. You would usually hear Wiss Turlington here, but you know what? <laughs> he ain't here. He ain't Bye, here. bitch. Oh, Whoa. can we say that? No. 
Doesn't seem like we should okay. say that. I don't no, I'm not absolutely say that. not. All right. Yeah, no, that would I mean, uh, is there an equivalent? Um, no. Some things are just okay. for women, well, and we deserve. I, d- I understand that. Uh, you do. You do. I'm. I'm the one who understands that. Yeah. Out of I, the entire uh, crew. I don't get any of it. Cake stand. Cake stand All right, you're not going to understand anything for that uh, one. happening here whatsoever. Um, yeah. I do have to say. I got to say, if it's, Harper's going to be running the show, I don't know if Keg Stand should be around anymore, honestly. I really think we should probably fire Keg Stand. I mean, Keg Stand um, is kind of fun, but also, like, right. I'm not going to run your show. Like, I'm going to probably oh, no. go back to high school. Oh, no, 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 no please. No, no, no. Just if you, like, please. feature us every once in a while on your... Now, what do you got? You have a... You have got... You, again, a MySpace page? Friends, yeah, sir, where, where you, can we like get a, the Harper, where, where the Harper a, show? A, a live journal? Are you on Live Journal? Oh, you're um, on Live Journal. N- no, I I mean I do I post on TikTok. Um oh, sometimes yeah, I TikTok. repost my TikToks on Instagram so like old people so, can see them. Uh, um yeah. Twitter Oh, so wait, Instagram's for the old? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just got it. That's yeah, well that I, makes sense. I did just um, sign up. And Twitter is dead. So, like, if you haven't started a Twitter, you don't need to bother uh, starting it. Like, it's dead. Twitter, Twitter is just made... like where you go to hate trans people. That's oh. really the, oh, that's yeah, what that Twitter. Is for. Oh, do Twitter, Scotty, cancel, cancel our blue cancel check it. marks. Cancel the blue checks. Okay. Oh, God. I Harper, thought that I mean, meant that I get it, but I guess I don't. I don't. Uh, I, we do have some other events, but first, uh, uh, you asked for it. He's on line 13, uh, Farmer Dan from Shetland Creameries. Uh, Farmer Dan, Harper Lawson is here, the great Harper Lawson, probably our new uh, radio, uh, I mean, probably our new program director here at 108.9 The Hawk. Definitely Haunt. not. A, a job that I think you have earned. Definitely going to be and running the station one day. Definitely running the station right now. now. Uh, Harper has some advice for you, Farmer Dan. Uh, Harper, just go ahead and say it, and we'll see how uh, our buddy uh, Farmer Dan reacts. Um, well, I don't really like do dairy at all, so I don't know like what <gasps> your whole deal is. Um, oh. But I would just like not say creamy summer ever in it's life. Creamy summer. Yeah, it's please, like, please don't Shetland say that. Creameries for over forty years, we've been doing creamy summers. Yeah, um, no, Farmer Dan, down. it's not an ad now for you. So you're getting you you're getting down, advice you from a, a focus group right here. You start at the top of the hill. And then I just, I let the milk go down the slide. This is all just disgusting, right, Harper? Yeah, all of that sounds really gross. Um, and you, you go down, but you can slurp it as you slide. Yeah, he doesn't no. listen when it's you called, talk. That's, that's the annoying call part it the of the slurp and slide. Nobody yeah. wants that, but like. Kids love it. Mr. Jameson says you should never point out a problem without a solution. So like, okay. can you just change your event and call it like hashtag shit life? Hashtag oh. shit life. Wow. Um, That's let me beautiful. write this down. Have, write that down right there. I well, kids like it. it. Um, no, but they'll make fun of it less. Oh, that's oh, so a, that, and that's basically a plus. If kids make fun of it less, that means the kids are into it. As far as so I'm concerned, so they'll stop. They'll, they'll stop calling me old milk douche. Hopefully, yeah. Oh God, I hope so. OMD, old so, milk douche. Come on down. For hashtag shit life. Slay. It's wow. the first fire time we're doing it at Shetland Creameries. I don't know what it's going to entail, but I can tell you we've got eggnog. Seven ninety nine. Oh, right How's now. eggnog going to fly, Harper? Is that one? It's, yeah. We got no dice. No dice just, on eggnog. It's not eggnog time. It I could be know. hot. It's, it that's the cold. problem. It's always eggnog time when Farmer Dan's It's always involved. eggnog time at Shetland Creameries. Oh, boy. Shet Life Slay. I got to go figure out the rest of this. Five good stuff, wow. Farmer Dan. Wonderful stuff. Uh, hope it gets hope incorporated in your day to day language. Uh, um, not going to be awkward at all. We've learned a lot on this. Uh, I mean, we're. I mean, not. We still got so many hours to go, Harper. This is amazing that you're oh, yeah, be I hope here for it, the did your whole teacher, did thing. Did Mr. Jameson let you know this is a four-hour show four hour every show. single morning? Yeah, so, I no, mean. No, I've never done anything for four hours. 
Well, wow. get used to it because uh, you're part of the old uh, Jason and Jeff radio crew now. You uh, are. HR I mean, is going to be talking Jason, to you Jeff soon to get your uh, banking account information for that yeah, direct deposit. Yeah, they're going to need the banking account information um, for uh, yeah, the direct deposit. Venmo, uh, PayPal, that'll all Benefits not too. so good. No, no, not benefits so good. are terrible. Well, I yeah. don't need benefits because I'm a child, um, but also <laughs> no to that. Um, oh. I, I like, I wish you the best of luck in all your endeavors, yeah. but I will not ever be here again because oh. I just needed you to oh. sign my paper to say that I did an hour and then, um, I'm going to go get my nails done actually. Oh, oh. wow. Okay. I mean, I mean, I'll sign it. Here I go. <laughs> I guess Thank that's you. just uh, sometimes you fly a little too close to the sun. Yeah. And, you know, I don't know the rest of that. Yeah. It seems like you guys are like hungry for leadership, um, which <sighs> happens a lot around me, honestly. Um, yeah. But like, yeah. I would just say, like, be your own girl boss. Wow. But I shouldn't say be your own girl boss to myself, right? Yeah. Like maybe like in the mirror or whatever, like. Oh, with like nobody mutters, but not on air no like we not can't say air. don't no. say that then no. say it out loud for wow. everybody to hear i mean i felt i gotta say i felt very elevated by you being here i felt like uh i was on a pedestal i felt uh better about myself than i've ever felt my entire life and now i feel like i've been brought down to the uh sewer that is uh everyday existence yeah that's kind of like the harper experience wow Okay. And that's um, where we can find you, by the way, on TikTok, at the Harper Experience? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. where, okay, awesome. Okay. Well, Harper, uh-huh. you have taught us so much, and uh, we're never, we're never ever going to forget you. Oh. We hope that you never, ever, 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 ever forget us. And maybe, Don't forget us. Maybe listen in the morning and call us sometime and let us know how you're doing. Give us a shout out on the Harper experience. Yeah, just why don't you put like, yeah, why don't you do one of those TikToks and you just be like, Slay, guys, I just did the Jeff and Jason show. Slay fire. I slayed fire. Maybe if like. Maybe then like hands. I don't know. Kill the dragon and then you play like a Dio song. That could all work out. Yeah. Maybe if there's like. A day where I have to like be at the airport or something, and then oh, okay, I would be awake okay. for this. Then okay. maybe I would like call you guys and like see how it's going with your um like well, spatula friend or whatever. Wisp, yeah. yeah. I I hope wow. that you do call in Harper. Um, <sighs> frankly, I feel I a little know. empty. I I mean, come on, uh, seven o'clock hour. We got Skeet Ulrich coming in. Um, he, oh my god, the guy from game. Scream? The guy from Scream? The guy from Scream? Here. Yes. That's like the first person you've mentioned who I like knew who they were. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. He's on our show oh, every right. morning. We got her back. I love her. him. Oh. I love classic movies. Oh, uh, what? Uh, wow. Oh, I mean, oh, wow. That, Skeet's that one, in there shaking his head. He's, it hurts. That's what, that one salt in the Skeet wounds right there. Oh, wow. Well, he was going to read. Uh, most of Lonesome Dove on the air to us today. He's not going to do that. <sighs> Great orator voice, but we're not going to hear oh, it, maybe. God. Skeet oh, Ulrich's wow. so good. Um, yeah, so much coming up. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do this or how we're going to get through this or if we are now the hosts of this show and we just got to take our power back and slay like the girl bosses we are. Um, fire. 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 Bowie. I bet David Bowie would say stuff like fire and slay if he were alive in 2023, right? Oh, hundo percent. Hundo percent. Do you even know who David Bowie is? Do you know who David I Bowie is? I know who David Bowie is, you guys. I'm not a loser. Wow. I love Harper. Please come back. Boom. And now it is 108.9 The Hawk, the interview where real people again. And ladies and gentlemen, Ashley Nicole Black. Hi. <laughs> Wow. I don't think we have had a uh, a guest character on that has thrown Jason and Jeff for such a loop. <laughs> no. In terms of like, A, being old classic rock dudes, but also like searching inside and <laughs> yeah. seeing to see 
if there is some sort of like you know mutiny or somehow they can make themselves better or I like mean, they're a never going to be can really get you to the existential maw that is existence. <laughs> like, well, I when Jason asked me to do the show, I was like, I I genuinely don't know much about classic rock. Sure, you no. Know. So I was like, who can I be? Like, I'm not going to bone up. So who can I be that doesn't yeah. know and it's okay? <laughs> yeah, you're not going to like take a bunch of Zeppelin records and listen to no, them and no. be like, oh, I can talk about these, but. <laughs> when my when my college age niece recently was like i've been watching a lot of classic movies like donnie darko yeah. and i was just like right i hate my right. life oh, and then that yeah. brought it home every time it was amazing you know, i i love classic movies like i watched pixels the other day oh man and it was great <laughs> oh ashley thank you so much for coming on and uh, everybody knows ashley from my god full frontal samantha b Black Lady Sketch Show. You you wrote for Ted Lasso and won Emmys for Ted. One Emmy or two Emmys for Ted Lasso? One for Ted Lasso, one for Full Frontal. One for Full Frontal. Um, I think you're our first Emmy winner. Ooh. On the show. I do think this is the first. Uh, uh, may- maybe they're actually going to write about us in AV Club now. You never know. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, we still need a lot more to get. Uh, <laughs> that um, closed circuit radar that is AV Club. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you've been writing for Shrinking uh, until uh, the uh, the writer strike. Mm-hmm. What now? As uh, have, have you heard about this, Jeff? The writer strike. <laughs> Tell um, me more. <laughs> yeah, you just you have an amazing career. You're one of my absolute favorite people in the world. Um, we used to live in the same building, Jeff. Yep, down oh. the hall. Down the wow. hall, we were like one apartment between us. Yes, and I would and open the door, and my dog would run into their apartment. Yes, that's adorable. Her that's a friend Gordy. situation that I never had. It, it was is, beautiful. We called it comedy dorm because com- <laughs> yes, so many comedy writers lived wow. in this building. It was the absolute best. Like Ashley would be like, "Hey, I can't get Gordy right now. Can you go get Gordy?" And I'm like, "Yeah, gladly." And I'll go down to the uh, the the building had a little uh, pet care center in the basement, and I would oh, go man. and. Or I feel like this happened to everyone once. There was one Italian restaurant that like only sold family style portions, but it didn't say that anywhere on DoorDash. So I just (laughs) ordered what I thought was like um, a pasta and a salad or whatever. And so much food showed up, but it was so (laughs) great when you all live in the same building, you just call everybody and be like, guys, I'm accidentally having a party. Come over and eat a metric ton of pasta. That was Carmine's, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Carmine's in New York. You order and you're like, oh, this is this is this is going to be great. This is I'll have a salad and I'll have some chicken parm and they come and it's just like trays, family sized trays. And New York Huge. is so expensive that like, yes, when yeah. you see that your pasta is thirty dollars, you're not like, oh, this must be a family sized tray. Of pasta. <laughs> I mean, this also explains why me and Jason are always talking about him going to Italian restaurants and I say I don't go to him. And then. Yeah. It's just is you've got this history of oh, you, it's God. when you're there, you're family at Carmine's. True. When you're there, you're family. <laughs> and when you're in comedy dorm, you're family. Um, so the strike's been going on. So you've just been picketing and we've seen you out on the on the picket line. And uh, hopefully it ends very soon. Uh, who knows? I've heard somebody told me a very arbitrary date that they were told by an executive of August 14th. <laughs> sure. That's too specific. But it, <laughs> Yeah, right, just yeah. like <laughs> throw out a date. It's like that person has to understand, like, don't make your lies so specific yeah. that right. we know it's bullshit. Like, yeah. you got to talk around. Mid-August is like a believable lie. August That's 14th, great. you're full of August 14th. August 14th, 12, for sure. 27 a.m. It's like, all right, now you don't yeah. know. Oh, it's done. Um, the one question we usually ask our guests is, you know, what is your relation to classic rock? We already kind of know that because you don't really have much of a relationship to classic rock, but I'm going to rephrase for you. What is your relation to music? Because I know you come from a very musical family. Yeah. So it's funny, even the answer to your first question is incorporated into this. I grew up, my dad's a gospel composer. Um, but before I was born, he was in the gap band. Um, wow. Amazing. That's so we were like, one. and my godfather's DJ Rogers, who's a huge R&B singer songwriter. Yeah. So we were like very, very steeped in that world. Like we would do mm-hmm. a game with my family where you play like the first two seconds of a song and you have to like know what song it was and who sang it. Oh um, my God. All of the oldies, everything. And so, yeah. but 
And I grew up in like a very diverse area, like mostly Asian. And, you know, so when I went to college, it was like the first time I interacted with white people. And then there was like all this, these like <laughs> songs that everybody knew the words to, like, don't stop believing or like the Beatles or whatever. Or and Bohemian I, Rhapsody. Yeah, everyone. Well, yeah. I didn't know all the words to Bohemian Rhapsody oh, because perfect. in high school I was in honors English. And uh -huh. our honors English teacher decided that we were like too nerdy and too stressed out and uptight. So he made our final exam worth like half of our grades memorizing all the words to Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That is amazing. Which That's we great. took with the seriousness of any final exam. You're, I you're just like, how many? Scott Amush. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, literally, like my freshman year of college, I like sat down to learn more about like those quote unquote universal songs that everybody knew right. that I really didn't encounter until I went to college. Oh, that's my amazing. God. I mean, I want to play that game now. Yeah. Like my play brothers are oh, better at it. I'm pretty good really? at it, but my brothers literally will be like the OJs after one note. <laughs> oh, God. We might have to make that a Patreon. Uh, we show might have that to you do the game where on we test Patreon. each other. I like that. Oh. And the Gap Band thing, that's like my son, who's six recently, was just asking me if I liked You Dropped a Bomb on Me. Yeah, like it, it was just on the old. radio. And I was like, yes, it's a great song. And he goes, yeah. I like yeah. it too. And I was like, yeah. okay, buddy, good. I love that you're learning so much about music again through your child, Jeff, where it's oh, just yeah. like, he's just reminding you of things. Like, Jeff's kid is really getting into Kiss. Now. <laughs> and he's six yeah. but he knows all the words that i was made to loving you baby yeah and he doesn't see like the sexual stuff no no it just goes it. hard kids like yeah. anything that goes hard yeah yeah and he truly he wore his kiss shirt yesterday and he's like just <laughs> obsessed he we probably are dressing up as them for halloween if it's still oh a gosh. thing at that point oh, that's the best but is uh, he like also into frozen or is it like just kiss uh yeah every well that's the thing is that yeah also then it will be like the coffin dance which is some dance song that like another kid liked but then a frozen song and then a bad papa roach song i've never heard because <laughs> alexa played it and some yeah. like active rock playlist oh god um or yeah but like it is like i'm also the annoying dad who doesn't never let him listen to kids music not that i didn't let him but i was just like well listen to real music Why right. listen to kids' music? So he didn't get Baby Shark. Or... He never got Baby Shark. Like he heard it at daycare, but his like first true love was like Babushka by Kate Bush. Okay. Because <laughs> he just heard it a lot. I am going to recommend a kids' album that's actually really good. My Which friend one? Tara Trudell wrote like a concept album for children. It's called Fairy Tales Remixed. It's on Bandcamp. Okay. Um, and but she's from Second City, and it's a lot of Second City people on it. I mm -hmm. sang on it. Um, oh, wow. So they're legitimately funny. Like the songs actually have like great joke lines that are funny. So it is right. music for kids. But when you're also in the car, you can laugh because it's genuine comedy. That's it's like even though like That's with the amazing. bits he hears like or I hear from him, I'm like, oh, there is like real music in there. Right. But it's just yeah. like any musical genre. There's so much that it's just like cloying and just like, ugh, yeah. well, this is. Yeah pointless existence um, i never listened to that stuff i i went right into the monkeys the beach boys and weird al well, that's why i never understood that's when they had I those like kids kid. version of depeche mode cds <laughs> that my friends listen i was like just listen to depeche mode like early kids bop where they're all like your own personal jesus, jesus. Yes. yeah or kids oh incorporated that one does work when oh, they God. do kids incorporated that's one of my favorite kids Instagram. incorporated no we Growing Another up? weird family thing. We weren't allowed to watch TV. You know this. Ah. Oh, uh, so there God. are. That's right. That's I right. also, the other re education, um, I just watched Indiana Jones for the first time. Like, I'm still <laughs> catching You're up. You're catching up. <laughs> 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 Kids Incorporated That's was amazing. like, they, I mean, I watched the Instagram a fair amount. It's like where Fergie started. Yep. And like Jennifer Love Hewitt. Club or no. whatever. Uh, yeah, it's like that, but like it's Mickey like. Mouse Club. Yeah, but yeah. they were it was Kids Incorporated and it was like a weird club where they basically just covered new pop songs. Yeah. So it'll be like Sus like Susudio by Phil Collins through Martika who sang Toy Soldiers eventually. But it's yeah. like and the it's kid from the strange. Monster Squad 
is yeah. like the bass player. That like, would have yeah, been my dream job as a child. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I highly recommend thing. it. Yeah. I highly recommend it. You can watch them all on Instagram. It's just, especially just to see Fergie just like belt out all of these 80s classics as a child. And unlike the is, Disney Club, they don't kid them up as much. Like you're like, no, they're very God, serious. God, like they'll do so some serious. <laughs> they'll do like against all odds and you cry just as much as you hear the Phil Collins right. version. They'll do like you know Man on mean? the Corner by Genesis. It's like, this is a about the unhoused <laughs> oh my yeah. god no yeah. son of mine is depressing <laughs> yeah it's absolutely uh, a, a gold mine of stuff to watch um so while during the writer's strike you can uh sit back and relive kids incorporated <laughs> for the uh, first time as, yeah um ashley you're the absolute best we love you so much thank you so much for coming on thank is there you. anything that you want to plug well we are during the writer's strike so if you want to help uh, crew out who are being affected by the work stoppage, you can go to entertainmentcommunity.org. It's the Entertainment Community Fund. And they do great things for people in the entertainment community year round. But right now you can donate to help out the non-writers who are losing work because of the writer strike. That's the nicest plug um, we've ever had. Well, yeah, also, I don't o'clock. have a job right now. So I'm, I'm just saying it's still very, very <laughs> nice. Like everyone else is like, yeah, I'm doing a show down at Dingbats, and uh, it's going to be good. Uh, I am come down not. and join I'm us. very much in my house. <laughs> right, right. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Ashley. And also, I have to say, because we talked about this before we started recording, happy birthday. Thank happy you. Happy birthday. Thank you for doing 108.9 The Hawk on your birthday. It's something well, a, I should a, a be lot honest of people and tell do. people we tried to yes. record this before. We did try to record this. I did this. not okay. show up. Because no that's what happens when I schedule things myself <laughs> yeah. instead of my assistant. And so I scheduled the redo on my birthday so I could right. not possibly forget. Wow. And I'm so happy to spend my morning with you guys. It's the nicest thing. We did a, and this we was did so a much different fun. episode that day right away. We did. <laughs> we did. Remember we which one it was. It was not a lost day. Was it, it, was, it was, season I think it was finale episode? Director. Oh, program I think it was program director. director. Yeah. Yep. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Thank Ashley. You. And. Thank you so much for listening to 108.9 The Hawk. You can support us by going to patreon.com slash 1089 The Hawk. You get extra episodes there. You get Hawk Rock Talk first months before you'll ever hear it right here on this feed. You get every episode of 108.9 The Hawk a week early. You get other shows like Talk to the Hawk and Album Poll. Art Spart Monster Hunter is coming very, very soon. Um, so much cool stuff over Mail on the Patreon. episode coming yeah. soon. Yeah, only that's for coming, the Patreon. Only for the Patreon. And other, uh, unlike other podcasts that do mailbag episodes, we do them in character voices. So if you have a question for Wisp, I'll an- I answer it as Wisp. Well, it's it's all the there. lines between reality and Valverde get Wait, even blurrier. Really? Oh, <laughs> you can get that at patreoncom slash one zero eight nine the hawk. And also, Jeff, uh, what else should people do? Go out there and give us those five-star reviews wherever you listen to podcasts. Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, Winker. uh, uh, Winker? Dingle. Are we on Winker? Yeah. Uh, Deezer, which is still the one that everyone does not understand what it is and how that presented. Nobody's ever going to understand But those five-star reviews and spread that word for us. And remember, in those reviews, let us know what song was ruined by Classic Rock. And I really like this, Jeff. Very nice. Thank you so much for listening to 108.9 The Hawk. Hey everyone, Jason Gore here from 108.9 The Hawk here, of course, with Jeff the normal man, Garlock. I'm just a normal man. <laughs> don't don't put a thing oh, on me. Oh, what a normal man he, he was. was. Another song I, that I never knew was ELP for years, much <laughs> like Deep Purple's Hush. My, yes, much like Deep Purple's Hush. Hey, we're taking a second here. And we, oh, I mean, we mentioned Hush in this episode, so it all ties together. I am great at gentlemen. doing callbacks, baby. <laughs> oh my God, what a callback. <laughs> hey, we just want to take a second to thank everybody who is subscribing to the Patreon at the Just Like Living in Paradise level. Um, it's one of your really benefits a- from being in that amazing level, the paradise is of hearing your name on 108.9 your The Hawk. Name. And uh, we're going off of the names that you put here on uh, the name thing in Patreon, because that's how it works. If Thank we you say to your Justin. name, also just want to say, if we say your name uh, wrong, just let us know. We'll do it again. I we'll say this as someone who gets his first name and his last name mispronounced all the time. All the time. Geoff Garlic. Nope. Geoff Garlic. 
Uh, Justin, thank you so much. Melissa Davis. Oh, Melissa. Thank you. Justin, thank you so much for being in paradise with us. Melissa P- Peach. That's one. That's why I say, you know, some of these names. Melissa, remind us, but also thank you for your amazing uh, questions for our mailbag episode. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Again, that's another it, it benefit. Be Being Peach. a Patreon, by the way, you get to give us questions for a mailbag episode that is only on our Patreon. Thank you so I much. Bet it's, I bet it's Melissa Peach. We'll go, okay. Uh, Melissa, Either you let one. us know which one got it wrong. Both of us. Which one, <laughs> tell us which one is a complete moron. Just let us know. Nathan Rabin, our, our our friend Nathan Rabin, you wrote an amazing article about us on your uh, uh, on your website, and my God, it was one, one of the, the nicest things that anyone has ever written I, about. I canceled my therapy session the that week, or me. I, you did. You, I that said, was you all you what? needed. Nathan gave me my therapy for this week, and then literally, like as I canceled it, I was like, oh no. I still need more validation. <laughs> I need more, please. <laughs> Therapist, write an article. <laughs> Noah Andrews, thank you so much. And thank you again for your questions, too. I, I, we have yeah. some great ones. Take Mountain. And I'm, gonna, I'm saying that correct. Oh, yeah. Take, or take Mountain. I'm also going to maybe guess Colin Gatton or Gaten. There, there you, you, it's a very good one. Very good guess. Yeah. Uh, thank you, though, for being in we're, paradise with us. We're blowing this. We're blowing this, and we will do it again. No, we will not. We will do, we'll, we'll we will, do, we'll this do it never again. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. But thank we'll you uh, to Colin, and thank you to Tom Sharpling. Of course. Uh, 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 just like living in paradise member Tom Sharpling. You can be just like Tom Sharpling and join at the 10 level at uh, patreon.com slash 108 the he doesn't support this? Oh, hell no. Wait, wait, you think Tom Sharpling doesn't support this? Come on. Get the funk out. Get the funk out. You know who Tommy shouldn't Britt. get the funk out? Tommy Britt. Exactly. Tommy Britt. Tommy Britt. Tommy Britt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good, good. We're really good at this. But thank you for um, supporting us. Uh, you, at the Just like living in paradise level, from time to time you get videos. Um, you get, uh, you know, a lot of, you get, basically you are really, really, truly supporting 108.9 The Hawk you are. and everyone who is subscribes to the Patreon at the Red Rocker level, at the just, uh, just like living in paradise at the get the funk out level. We could not do this without you. Uh, so this is just a quick moment at the end of the episode to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, what a normal man. He was. <laughs> <laughs>